Hi everybody, Darian from Copy ID here. Today, I wanna to talk to you about if you should hire a social media influencer to help your brand. There are a few things you need to know. Let's get into it. Okay, so the three things you need to look for before hiring a social media influencer to help elevate your brand is do you have a funnel in place and does it have gaps in it where you could lose income? Is that influencer really credible? And I'm gonna give you some questions you can ask to actually make sure. And how can you set your expectation and understanding how much you need to set aside in order to pay that influencer for promoting your brand? So the first thing we wanna talk about is that funnel. When you have a funnel set up, that means you need to understand the customer journey your customer goes through from the moment they enter that funnel, whether that's in an ad or in a social media post all the way through the content they're going to consume from you in emails and videos and all the way to your website and your product page. And then from there, after they purchase that first time, are there upsells, are there downsells? What else are you offering them to keep them buying from you? Now, once you've understood that your funnel is complete and you've looked at it to make sure that all the traffic that influencer is going to drive to your website is actually going to be useful and is going to make you money, the second thing you need to think about is, is this influencer right for me and my brand? Now, there are a few questions you can ask to make sure you set an expectation and you negotiate properly with this influencer. And the first one is, what is the market that this influencer represents? Are they highly engaged on their social media channel? And are those people who are engaging back the same market that you want to serve? It's not gonna do your brand any good if you're putting all this information out to a market full of people who don't care about the product that you sell or don't want what you offer. So you wanna make sure this influencer is in the same niche, same industry as you serving the same kind of people. Now, another thing you wanna think about is, can this influencer back up what they say with analytics and data? Now, they've probably done this before if they're worth their salt. So that influencer should be able to tell you the percent that they convert at and the ways they can show you how they get results. Are they gonna be using social media posts? Are they gonna be promoting an email on YouTube and in videos? What is the percentage of views that they're gonna get? What are their click-through rates? What kind of engagement are they getting from their market on each of those channels? And they should be able to give you those hard numbers. Now on that, make sure you are getting things that represent the engagement metric. You don't just want to know about page views and things like that because a lot of people can just pay for page views, right? The conversion is what you want to look for. And that conversion comes in click-through rates and engagement and all of those different things that show that their target audience is actually responding to what they put out. Now, another way you want to make sure this is the right influencer for you is that they're gonna put in the work to promote your product. And by that, I mean, are they going to weave their messaging in with what you offer or are they going to copy and paste a blog post you wrote or a blog post somebody else wrote about your product and say, that's it, that's all I'm going to do. Now, the best way an influencer can convert is by using their own message. They attracted this audience, they put a lot of effort and work into building this tribe with their own message. So we want them to use that message to engage in a way that their tribe's already used to, but we want them to also weave in your product into that message. So if they're going to do the work, by using their own words to describe what it is you offer and how your product is going to help people, that's when you know they're actually putting in the work to make this a sustainable relationship and they're not just trying to take the easy way out. So those are three things that you need to make sure you're asking influencers to make sure they're worth their salt and they're gonna put in the work to promote your product and it's going to be worth your money in the end. Now, the last thing we wanna talk about is the money. Now, how much can you expect to have to pay an influencer on social media to promote your product? And the answer is there are various levels of influencer and they charge various levels of prices per post. So what I recommend is looking for people who are what are known as micro influencers. And a micro influencer has anywhere between 1,000 and 10,000 followers. Now, the reason you wanna look at micro influencers is because they're small enough that they had to really work hard to build this tribe. And as long as they're engaged and do your background checks to make sure they are heavily engaged in their tribe and their tribe is engaging back, as long as that is happening, you know that they're putting forth effort and they really want to do right by their group, which means if your product is not a good fit for them, they may also say no, right? And that's a good thing. You wanna find the influencer that's going to validate what you have to offer is also going to be a value to their tribe. They're not just taking and saying yes to everybody, right? Now, what can you expect to pay a micro influencer? After a lot of research we've done on Instagram in particular, you can expect to pay anywhere between $100 and $500 per post for a micro influencer to promote your product on their social channels to their people. 
Now, obviously there, that ranges and there are people who are below that called nano influencers. There are people above that called macro influencers. And then there are celebrity influencers that charge a lot more, but the reason you want to focus in on micro influencers is not only because it is a lot more affordable with a heavily engaged and a much higher audience than a nano influencer, for example, but also because those macro and celebrity influencers are going to be a lot less engaged and it's harder to tell if their following is actually true or if they ended up buying a lot of those followers as well. So, the key takeaway here is make sure you do your due diligence, make sure you research the person you want to help out with your brand and follow these top three things. Make sure your funnel is on point. Make sure you ask questions of that influencer and make sure you set aside the right amount of money to be able to pay them to do the work so that you can have a continuous sustainable relationship with that influencer. Now, if you've ever considered hiring a social media influencer, or if you've done so before, we would really love to hear about your experience. Drop a comment below this video or shoot us a DM and let us know what you think. And if you want help elevating your brand, social presence, messaging in your web copy, emails, social media, and content strategies, we would love to help you out. Check out copyidentity.com slash coaching, and we would love to get in touch with a free 15 minute consultation. We'll see you around. This has been Darian with Copy ID. I'll see you in the next video.